I'm replacing this broken outlet with a 15 amp outlet. Turn off the power to the outlet and check that it's off with an electrical tester. A shock under certain conditions can be deadly. Once the power is off to the circuit, remove the cover and screws holding the outlet to the electrical box and pull out the old outlet. You can put a 15 amp outlet on a 15 or 20 amp circuit. Never put a 20 amp outlet on a 15 amp circuit. I'm doing this project in the Chicago area. This house has metal boxes connected to metal conduit, creating a ground path back to the service panel, so there's no ground wire. When the outlet is screwed down to the metal box, it will be grounded. The brass screws are for the hot wire or wires. This is the side with the narrow slots. The silver screws are for the neutral wire or wires. This is the side with the wide slots. The green screw is for the ground wire if you have one. To see if the box is grounded, you can turn on the power to the circuit and test between the hot wire and the neutral to confirm the electric is on, then test between the hot wire and the box to confirm it's grounded. It will show around 120 volts AC. Then turn off the power to the circuit. For most homes, the hot wire will be black or red. If your home has conduit, the hot wire can be any colored wire except white or green. The neutral wire is white, the ground wire is green or bare copper. The wires in this box have unspliced loops, so rather than running two wires in and two wires out of the box, the neutral and hot wires were stripped in the middle and the wire continues to the next box. Connect the hot wire or wires to the brass screws, the side with the narrow slots. Connect the neutral wire or wires to the silver screws, the side with the wide slots. If you're connecting an individual wire, create a hook that will set under the screw head. Position the end of the hook so it's on the right side so it tightens firmly. You want the bare wire completely under the screw head. You don't want insulation under the screw head, and there shouldn't be any exposed metal past the body of the outlet. Fold the wires into the box and screw down the outlet. Put on the cover, turn the power back on and test the outlet. 